Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, my name is Inke M and I really do hope that you stay, you like, you subscribe. Please subscribe, guys. You share and you comment all of that wonderful, wonderful stuff. And if you're back and you're better, I love that for us. Well, before we go far, let's address the elephants in the room. Guys, you are watching the videos. It's nice. But y'all are not subscribing, guys. Please subscribe. It's just click on the button. Absolutely free. You know, like that's all I ask. You know what I mean? Um, and if you subscribe, I'll keep coming through with the content, sweeties. So yeah, in today's video, I will be discussing how to get into medical school. As you guys know, or I don't know if you do know, I am a medical student at Fitz University. So I thought, let me give you guys, you know, some tips now that applications are open. Tips on how to better your chances on getting into medical school and i have done a little bit of research for you guys in terms of like what you need and you know like the the minimum requirements that you need so let's get right into this video as you guys know i've always got my oh child i've always got my friend my little diary um with my notes so the first thing that i wrote down about medical school is that guys medical school is hard it demands a lot from you emotionally mentally mentally physically all aspects of your life as does varsity oh yes before i go too far please check out my university tips video university 101 video before you even watch this video so that you can kind of have an idea of some of the things that you need to know and do before you go into university so yeah the first thing that i'm going to tell you guys is that medical school is extremely extremely hard you guys just like university in general but it takes a lot from you to do medicine so the first thing i would say is that don't do medicine for the money or for the title there are so many other jobs out there other degrees out there that are you know six seven years it will take you to be a doctor as well like to obtain your phd but also there's so many other degrees where you can make money also i truly believe that in terms of making money money goes where passion flows <laughs> bar sweetie so do what you are passionate about and money will follow you it's not about what you do but how you do it if that makes sense so yeah so my first first tip for how to get into medical school is to start applying early guys so you can know what documents you need because there's a lot of things that they're going to need you need to certify things and stuff like that so start applying early don't leave applying for medicine to the last minute and medicine applications close much earlier than normal applications so you want to start that process as early as possible to maximize your chances of getting in but also to so that you don't like delay and now you're like oh my gosh i didn't do this i don't have this document and you're rushing things and it's like becoming a process that's really really hard to get through then the next thing i have is that guys make sure you have the right subject so this video is for someone even if you're in grade 9 or grade 10 and you're not sure what subjects you're supposed to do you need to have maths you need to have english you need to have um Physical science and life science really, really helps because you build a solid foundation, not a solid, but you get a good foundation of what you'll be doing when you do get to medical school. So those subjects should be your top priorities and you want to do extremely well in those particular subjects. So in order to get into medical school, you first need to apply in grade 11 and your grade 11 marks need to be good. Um, because that's what they use um, to do to give you your provisional acceptance which you get the year before the year you start right so you want to make sure that in your grade 11 year you really really push to get those really really good marks to better your chances of getting into medical school the next point guys do your research okay there are so many medical schools in south africa there's Wits university there's uct there's stellenbosch university there's ukzn there's um what's it called safako mahato i think that's what it's called um there's there's so many medical schools do your research see what is required for different universities some universities require you to do an nbt and they will spe they'll specify how much they want you to obtain in your nbts which i will touch on next some universities will tell you that they're um 
they need you to do things like community service or whatever the case may be do your research find out what different universities need in order for you to qualify um for whatever degree you're doing like for example ukzn needs you to um have done lo and have passed it with a certain mark and if you don't and you repeat the year like you upgrade your marks but you had failed it the year before you you didn't obtain that mark the year before they don't even consider you um for medicine so there are those small things that you want to do and research and find out in order to know what exactly each university once from you and requires from you um in medicine or in order to get into medicine at the end of the video i will be sharing some of the top universities um that i know or that i apply to and their requirements their exact requirements their closing dates things like that so stay tuned for the end of the video for that next up you want to write your mbts now your mbts are your national benchmark exams uh, tests and they're made up of three components one mathematical component and then two components which is like i think it's like english something and quantitative literacy i could be wrong but again do your research so it, it's it's an al um section a ql section and a math section um and you, the only way to really prepare for your MBTs, I would say, is keep on, like for the math section, you need to keep on track with the math work of the year. If you can even be ahead, that is an advantage for yourself. But literally, it's just all the math work that you've done and it's to see if you can really work under pressure and um, do those math equations in that time. It's not extremely hard if you've done the work, like in your math class, do all your work, do past papers for um, in your maths class. I know they even have like classes basically that they offer to prepare for your MBTs. I forgot, workshops. I think they're called workshops um, that they offer for you to prepare for your MBTs. Attend as many of those things as possible. But literally, all I know my friends and I did is we kept up to date with our maths work and we were okay for the mbt the next thing i have here is that guys if you want to get into medicine you need to be an all-rounder you can't be someone who is just academics i know like a university like up they want you to be very very sporty they they love to see that you're doing well in your sports um like me for example i didn't do sports in high school but i did a lot of cultural activities so you want to be someone who does a lot of different activities and you're not just you're not just a one-trick pony because that does lessen your chances of getting into medicine so make sure that you're someone who is an all-rounder someone who does participate in a lot of different things um things like you want to do or be involved in things like leadership positions you want to do things like community service um, you want to do things like volunteering, like I'm just like throwing around a few suggestions and with the topic of volunteering, I would highly suggest that you do job shadowing and you job shadow a doctor if you want to get into medicine, just so that you can see the feel of the whole situation and see if, is this really for me? Do I want to do it? You know what I mean? Do I enjoy this type of setup? Um, yeah. And then guys, the next point that I did not do is please 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 apply to many universities apply to as many universities as possible like i said there are so many universities in south africa that offer medicine or that have medical schools and most of them are really really good ufs um what's it walter sisulu university like i said there are so so many guys don't limit yourself like i did to just three universities like i know i only applied to uct up and vits which I would never advise anyone to do because that was stressful sweetie like give yourself options and like i said at the end of the day they will teach you the work required for a good doctor and um it really really is up to you you know if you're going to be a good doctor if you're going to take in all that information so that's how i'm saying go to i mean apply to as many universities as possible don't be like you know in order for me to be a good doctor i have to go to these specific universities that's literally not the case please 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 make sure this is something that i didn't do because i wasn't sure if i wanted to do medicine or not well i knew that i wanted to but i was doubting my capabilities but make sure that your second and third options at the universities are something that are well it's um it's a degree that can give you subjects that you would do in medicine so something like a bsc in biological sciences or something like a biomedical degree 
something like that make sure that your second and your third options when you're applying are things that are subjects or degrees that can ultimately get you into medicine because if you don't make it the first time around you want to make sure that you have the option to get into medicine later which i will touch on in another video and on how to get into medicine if you didn't make it um straight out of high school right so i just wanted to say that um, if you don't get into medicine straight out of high school, this is something that I didn't know but I need to share There are options guys. There are so so many ways from so many different universities Where you can get into medicine even if you didn't get in straight from high school because as we all know It is very very competitive to get into medicine. So do not lose faith or, um, or hope if you don't get in straight from high school There are a lot of options and as I said, I will discuss those in a separate video so now i'm going to share the requirements some of the minimum requirements that are needed at i researched three universities or is it four four universities i looked at up vit uct and ukzn so for vits you need a level five which is i think 60 percent for or above for english maths and physical science or life science now guys obviously if you just make it with 60 percent they probably won't consider you you want to try and aim higher than that i would say aim for distinctions like 80s plus because like i said medicine is extremely competitive you are coming in with people who are going to have 90s for everything okay so make sure you push your marks as far up as you can we're not all lucky like me i'm not gonna lie my mocks in high school weren't amazing they weren't bad oh child they weren't bad but they weren't amazing so obviously i'm someone who believes that if something's for you it is just for you and it can't miss you so i think that's what happened for me i mean my mocks were good shape they weren't bad but they weren't amazing um but you want to give yourself the best chance possible by pushing your marks up as much as possible please do not slack in high school that is not the time to be slacking you'll chill once you are in university because child once at least once you have your foot in the door then you can you know work properly but don't slack don't ever slack please don't be like me don't make the mistakes i made it will stress you out so you need 60 percent or more so how they um count your marks for vets they have a, what they call a composite index score where they take your matric results for maths english physical science or life science and two of your highest subjects and they look at the percentage and then they also take your nbt results now for vits the applications are already open and they close on the 30th of june 2021 so these are the 2022 applications so you want to get on that if you're planning on um applying for medicine and then at up they have um an option where you can do a bsc and then go into medicine mid um or like in the second semester of first year which i will discuss more in depth in my next video so um you have a, a bit more options there but it's only like the top top students who actually get into medicine in second semester if you didn't make it in first semester but what they want is a level five which is 60 percent for english a level six which is 70 percent plus for math mathematics and a level five which is um 60% for physics and then they want an APS score of 35. So how you calculate your APS is that let's say you've got 70% for um, English, that's a 6 for your APS and then you've got 80% for mathematics, that's a 7. You'll add all those up and then you have to have a final score of more than 35 and that's how you calculate your APS. And then at UCT, they do things a little bit different. They have something called an APS score. But with that, you have to add up all your percentages. And I think excluding your LO. So you add up all your percentages and all of those have to come up to a score of more than 450. So that's how they calculate it. And then at UCT, I know specifically nbts are extremely extremely important at uct um so they count that towards your final mark which is called an fps so you'll count each of each of your percentage for um 
each of your percentages for your NBT, the three, the AR, the QR, and the mathematical um, aspect of it. And they will add those together and add it to your APS, which are all your percentages minus your RO mark for your marks, for your subjects, right? And that will give you an FPS score. And those, they usually do want it to be like above 780, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said, please do your research. It will tell you everything that you need to know in there. And then finally, for UKZN, firstly, they want your average to be above 65%. They want 60% for four subjects, which are maths, um, English, life science, and physics. And then they need you, like I said earlier on in the video too, past life orientation and so yeah guys um like i said medical school is challenging but if it's really what you want to do it really really is worth it once you're in and like i said you want to do it the motivation comes by itself but start being motivated now while you're in high school why whatever age you are right now even if you're not you're no longer in high school let's say you're upgrading your marks you know keep motivated keep studying and you will definitely be able to get in or i should say increase your chances of getting into medical school like i said with medical school sometimes it's just luck like because there are kids who will come through with seven distinctions and not get into medical school it does happen but you should know that you have options and i will discuss those options in the next video only if you guys like this video and then i will put up another video on how to get into medical school um if you didn't get in straight out of high school so thank you so much you guys for watching this video i really do hope that you enjoyed it please don't forget to like to share to subscribe and all of that wonderful stuff i think when this video goes up we will be on 400 subscribers so thank you so much for 400 subscribers you guys were on the road to 1k road to 500 subscribers i am so excited and i will see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.